So I got a lot of really positive comments on my new progressive rating system, which is awesome, but I'm really just kind of happy that no one noticed that when I spelt it out on the screen, I forgot the T in rating. Really happy I decided to point that out now. So going into Don't Be Afraid of the Dark, my expectations were of what I thought was a decent trailer, a screenwriter who I really like, and lukewarm reviews, so I wasn't really sure what I would get out of it. The movie starts out with some really great tone setting. Right off the bat, director Troy Nixie creates a very ominous atmosphere. The result was a really tense move, which made me very excited for when the movie got into the thick of it, but unfortunately, the payoff to all that really good setup is fairly poor and kind of disappointing. Part of that could be due to the actual story, which lacked a fair share of what should have been spine-tingling interest. For the most part, a lot of these shortcomings were saved, as I said, with the good mood setting, but also concurrently with some really great performances. And in these types of movies, a lot of importance is weighed on the youngling actor's uh, performance, you know, like Haley Joel Osment in The Sixth Sense, or Dakota Fanning in Hide and Seek, or yeah, that girl from Orphan. And Bailey Madison was just downright damn creepy. Yes, I thought Billy Madison was in this movie, too. I mean, she really does do nice work of conveying that air of eeriness to the adult cats, who also do very good work. Guy Pierce, who I always think is good, and Katie Holmes. They work very well together. What's even more so is Del Toro's influence on the visual style. You can really see his hand in there, and it's a fantastic accent to the film. The spark and performances and visual style all contribute to the overall sense of unease. It's sad, then, that after all that build-up and tension, then it flops whenever it gets to a point where you expect true horror. So overall, while Don't Be Afraid of the Dark is never as scary as it should and could have been, there is something still to be said for the solid performances and the creation of menacing moods and gothic schemes. And for that, I will give Don't Be Afraid of the Dark a 6.5 out of 10. You know, since I told you about the embarrassment with the progressive rating thing, and we're just being open and telling each other stuff, uh, honestly, I am not going to lie. Uh, when I first saw the title for this movie, I kind of thought it was about racism.